Uh, on the question of uh, CPD, continuing professional development, I believe there has been a concern by the members that too much money is paid towards this, and I'm not sure that we get as much value for the money we pay. Uh, the joke that goes around uh, with the members is that they simply buy points. You know that if you want four points, you pay 8,500. If you want uh, two points, you pay 4,500. Uh, how do you, do you think that the money paid by the members um, is equivalent to the service they get? Are you satisfied with um, the CPDs as they are uh, formulated at present? Or what changes should we hope to see in your council if you become president of the society? Is there a case for devolving the CPDs, for instance? Uh, to the branches, now that we have started to the branches which are funded by uh, LSK and uh, on the same vein. Is it time for LSK to devolve the directorate, for, for instance, when we talk about uh, overstaffing at the secretariat, do you think that that would be ameliorated by some of the functions of LSK being devolved to the uh, branches which are funded by the secretariat? And lastly, at the last AGM, I believe there was a resolution to develop, further develop Gitanga Road. Already there is concern from the members about the issues of money. If you become president, how do you hope to finance that further development of uh, Gitanga Road? Are you hoping to ask these members to pay yet again for that development? And um, how different will it be from the South Sea that we all know about. Thank you. I like this question so much because it's the third agenda of my manifesto, CPD, uh, review, strengthen, diversify. That's my mantra. CPD, mandatory CPD has been running now for 16 years. We've never had a serious sit down and review of its successes its strengths and its areas of weakness where it needs to be improved. I'll do that within the first three months of getting into office. In terms of strengthen, there are various areas CPD program needs to be strengthened. In last year's uh, AGM of the Law Society of Kenya, I sponsored a motion to allow branches to also offer CPDs. And I must say I received a lot of resistance. I was told that branches don't have the capacity that uh, us here we can't organize CPD programs. We've been doing very successful CPD programs in Nairobi. I mean, training programs in Nairobi, in Mombasa, I know in Rift Valley and elsewhere. So I, I was a bit uh, aggrieved by the fact that even though the majority of members in the AGM expressed support for my motion, uh, the motion was, I like saying the word, hijacked or converted into an amendment of setting up a committee. At least it gave us now one CPD point for AGM, but that's not enough. I believe branches should be able to offer some CPD points, but we also need the CPD committee to offer more points. I believe it's time to have one CPD point at least available for digital learning. In other words, you log on to a digital platform, you learn, you get the CPD point. I believe it's time to have CPDs that are more technical more practical, and even on non-legal topics like legal practice management, we've organized a training session with Anjarwala. It was very successful, nine series. We organized one on conveyancing with schools on honey, very successful. In London, in the UK, right now, every lawyer must get one CPD point for training on digital skills, because we are going digital. So that's the kind of thing I would like to see in the future CPD. So my, my answer is that uh, there is a case to devolve CPD partially to branches. My case, my answer is that the money paid is, I think, not equivalent to the service we get. We need to strengthen CPD. My answer is that a Gitanga Road should be developed, like accountants have developed CPA Center and other professions have developed their buildings, but without compulsory member contributions. There are various ways of doing it and I intend to initiate that process. Thank you. Uh, 